Most marine propulsion runs on diesel or heavy fuel oil, causing greenhouse gas, NOx and soot emissions. As the sector will grow in the coming decades, new legislation pushes the industry to innovate and apply environmentally friendly technologies. Lean ships, which stand for low energy and near to zero emission ships, is a European innovation project in which 42 partners from various EU member states are involved. The collective goal of all partners is to put innovations into practice by means of seven demonstrator cases. We have dedicated teams made up of equipment manufacturers, shipyards, ship owners, research institutions, which are all working hard together to make technologies more mature and to demonstrate feasibility to ensure market uptake. One of the project teams aims to demonstrate the potential of methanol as an alternative marine fuel. A viable solution is the introduction of methanol as a marine fuel. As one of the most widely shipped chemicals in the world, methanol is readily available through existing global terminal infrastructure. In the years before submitting our project proposal to the European Commission, we did an extensive analysis of potential alternative fuels. And to assess these fuels, we laid down three ground rules. First was sustainability. Can the fuel be produced in a sustainable way? So make use of an infinite energy supply and a closed cycle of resources. Secondly, scalability. Can we scale up the fuel's production, meaning does it make use of abundantly available and therefore cheap resources? And third, is it sufficiently compact? So does it offer a high enough energy density? And judged by these three criteria, methanol came out on top. Methanol is a clean burning fuel with lower emissions and meets increasingly stringent environmental fuel regulations. As a liquid fuel, only minor modifications are needed for current storage and bunkering infrastructure to enable methanol marine fueling in major port facilities, both easily and cost-effectively. Methanol is uh, primarily made from natural gas, but can also be made from a range of renewable and low carbon sources, which really makes it an ideal pathway to a sustainable future. At Ghent University, a Volvo Penta D7 has been converted to dual fuel operation. Power output and emissions will be measured both from dual fuel operation and diesel only operation. In this way, lean ships will be able to draw very concrete conclusions on the advantages of this promising technology. The Volvo Penta engine has been instrumented with sensors and with a new methanol fuel supply system that is suitable to the corrosive properties of methanol. The operational principle of the dual fuel approach is based on port fuel injection of methanol and a pilot diesel direct injection that actually ignites the methanol air mixture. In doing so, a substantial part of the original diesel consumption will be replaced by methanol. DEMI invests yearly in its vessel's portfolio Understanding the latest state-of-the-art technologies is key to make the correct investment decisions. Abiking and Rasmussen sees daily that market interest in sustainable vessels is increasing. Together with lean ships, Abiking and Rasmussen believes that it makes a major contribution towards sustainable shipping.